well. So we're actually going to be heading into a little bit of a rematch here for our final game. Now that's kind of exciting because the first game we saw between these two players was kind of insane. And hopefully this one is going to be a little bit more standard, maybe a little bit longer as well. Uh, but let's just quickly introduce our players. So for FBW we have uh, back once again, it's Faust. Now Faust, one of the ex-admins of the Foreign Brood War Discord server if you haven't met him before. All around a pretty cool guy but kind of, kind of strange with his builds and everything. Uh, but we did see him lose to Herbie before. Uh, he did try an in-base proxy hatch on Simpinks of Big Dude. Didn't quite work out. Uh, but this time Herbie is going to be standing up against him here on Coliseum 2. This is the ace match. So whoever wins this game will win the series for their team. Now Ash have not won. I, I don't think they've won a match actually so far in the STPL including round 1 and round 2. So it's really, really cool to see if they manage to do it here. And I'm actually just going to double check that I'm not seeing the wrong thing. So Ash actually went 0 for 5 in round 1. And they went 0 for 5 in round 2 as well. So this is going to be their chance to get their name on the board for the first time in the SCPR. Now Coliseum, a very standard 4 player map. I imagine we're going to see Faust using this creep. To his own benefit, gonna get a nice sunken colony down outside of Herbie's wall. But obviously, I am not one to talk because we never know what's gonna happen in the SCPL. So without further ado, let's head on over to the ace match between FBW and Ash. It's Faust versus Herbie, the rematch. Okay, starting us off here in the top right hand position, we do have the orange Protoss fighting for at Ash even. It's going to be Herbie. And his opponent down here in the bottom right hand position is our Zerg player in the red fighting for FBW. It's Faust. Now obviously a quick huge shout out to everybody uh, who is currently watching. I know Bonith is streaming as well at the moment. He's currently on 121 viewers. So hopefully uh, when he finishes up we may see them sort of guided over here to sort of add to the fun of the situation and everything. But either way, a uh, huge thank you to everyone that has shown up to watch. It's been great fun having you here. Hopefully you've enjoyed the game so far. This is of course only the first series of two this evening. The next series coming up is going to be Psy versus BWL. That should be a great series as well. Uh, we did see Psy and FBW on Monday at the end of week four. So, oh sorry, the end of week one. Uh, there's actually four days worth of cast because there's eight series every single week uh, for the next eight weeks at least. Uh, that gives the players a lot of games to play. Uh, me, obviously, a lot of games to cast as well. The SCPL's casted on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2100 CEST. Uh, there is obviously a few cases where I do have to delay and things like that, but hopefully there won't be too many of those this time. Because uh, obviously any delay in the tournament does put the players off as well, so... Uh, looks like we are going to have a fairly standard opening for Herbie. Going to go for a Forge Fast Expand. Going to be going for Double Cannon straight away. Uh, because he does see that there is a Spawning Pool first. I believe that was actually... I believe that was a Nine Pool into Gas. Uh, because it was a little bit later. Man, thank you very much Marky Mark for the 500 bit cheer. You just made me throw my mouse across the table. Uh, because I forgot that sound existed. And also it's very very loud on my end. So... That really, really scared me. Uh, a huge thank you. Uh, it means a hell of a lot.
And obviously, uh, thank you to Marky Mark as well, because he's actually put a lot of money into the prize pool of the SCPL, so um, I'm sure the players would love to thank you as well. I'm going to do something nice for all the people who donated at the end of the SCPL. If I can, I'll make like a little video or something. Uh, but that's obviously a way off. Uh, we're still at least two months away from the end of round three, and then round four should be about three months in itself as well. Uh, well, two months, I guess, eight weeks, and then, well, like ten weeks per round, I think it is, uh, works out. Uh, there will be a Season 2 next year. It's going to be a slightly different format, I think, unless the players are happy to do this format again. Uh, but I may condense it down just a little bit, uh, but do it in a way that's fair for everybody. And a way we still get to see lots of cool maps and see lots of games from uh, some of our favorite players as well. So... Uh, let's see what's going to go in. Faust obviously did manage to get a run by on the, uh, into the Protoss Natural. He is going to be able to put some pressure down on top of this Nexus. Now, the probes are trying to do their best to fight these off, but a little bit of a miss micro there. By Herbie, going to make it a little bit harder for Faust to really do anything. Now, actually... Okay, uh, let's ignore that. I just got a text message, but it was nothing too important. Uh, but either way, we've currently got Faust still putting on pressure. He's actually going for three hatcheries behind this, uh, looking to go into a more, a more economic style. But of course, he is taking a close third, uh, which does mean he is going to be looking to be a little bit more aggressive. But I think for anybody who knows Faust and his playstyle... Uh, that isn't anything to be surprised by. Now, we're finally going to have the first seller out here to try and help defend against this. Faust is actually supply blocked right now. Uh, I think he actually... He didn't lose an Overlord. He just hasn't added his third one yet. There we go. It finally comes in. Uh, back home, we do have the gas coming in for Herbie. Herbie has been spending a lot of his APM worried about these two Zerglings. The Zerglings nearly taking down all of the, uh, all of the shield on the Nexus by themselves. Uh, so that's very, very impressive that he's kept them alive this long. Uh, but of course, behind this, his macro did slip a little bit as well. He did forget his third overlord for a bit. And that is going to delay his additional pro or his additional drones. But there it is. There is the Hydra the Sting coming in at the natural. I mean, Faust is still trying to find damage with these two links. Of course, speed links. Very hard for our Protoss players to really try and deal with. Uh, going to be chasing those around for quite a long period of time. Uh, but obviously, Faust doing a very, very good job keeping them alive. And this is one of the things Faust is really, really good at. His unit control is absolutely fantastic. Now, we did see Herbie go in. I believe he actually saw the Hydralist end. So, he will know to add at least another cannon, possibly another two. I mean, the, I mean, the Zerglings are still trying to put on pressure here trying to do any damage they possibly can. Unfortunately, he's been unable to focus the Nexus. But just look how annoying he's being. Zealot's speed is still a long, long way away. Core has only just finished. You're going to have to spend a lot of minerals on a, side, um, on a cannon, but then we did finally see the Citadel of a Dune. But I mean, Herbie has had this natural for a long time, and he's barely been mining at it. And that's a big, big deal. Now, the Overlord is going to be able to move in. A probe does actually get taken down by this hero, Zergling. I mean, two Zealots should be able to hold this off for now. But this is just round one. We've actually got Hydralisks pulling up here from all three hatcheries. Uh, only two drones here at the third base, so it's not going to be a 973 or anything. Uh, he's actually going for four drones at the natural. I think he's going for like a 10. Well, okay, so he's going for an 11... 11-4-2, so kind of like a 9-7-3, just a little bit more of a weird positioning of all of those. Uh, but we're going to see a lot more cannons coming in from Herbie. Herbie needs to do this to stay alive. We're going to see another gateway being added on. Going to skip Stargate for now, of course, his tech. Going to be very, very far behind based on everything that's gone on so far this game. I mean, Faust is waiting for his Hydra upgrades to finish, and then I think... We're going to see him go for that bust. We've got Hydralis coming out of every single hatchery right now. Every single egg popping is going to be a Hydralisk. And this is going to be the move that Faust is going to try and make to win the game for 
FBW. Of course, FBW did win their week one game, so this will guarantee them the top spot in the group for the time being. That's uh, Group A, of course. Uh, but here we go. Looks like Faust's going to try and dive on top of the cannons. I mean, this is a lot of cannons. There's not really that many zealots here to help defend this. But the cannons are doing a lot of damage to Faust at the moment. And he's not really getting the damage done that he wants to. I mean, he has killed two more cannons, though. So it's going to be two cannons. One cannon against all of these hydros. So it looks like he's done it. He has. GG. And unfortunately for our Ash, or for Ash here, they are going to have victory classed from them by the, wait, is this right? By the clause of defeat? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, they're going to have, uh, they're going to have victory classed from them there in the ace match by the clause of defeat in the hands of Faust with his three hatch hydra play. Uh, that was obviously a very, very strong move there. Uh, now let's actually just quickly round up that series Gonna go into another quick break, uh, so we can head into the second series of the evening, but just quickly reporting all the wins and everything. Great, great moves by Faust uh, to finish off that map in that way. Uh, but let's have a look and just quickly round this up. So starting off we had Regi versus Dentog. Uh, did see a win for Regi there in that TVP. Uh, Herbie took down Faust on Sim Peaks of Baidu to give Ash a little bit of hope in the series. TT1 taking out Jojo on Neoground Zero to strike back. Revolu taking down Hiru on Plasma to take us to the ace match. And then Faust closing it off. And that's, uh, that's his way of bringing a little bit more pride back into his team. Faust hasn't had the best tournament so far. Uh, but that East match win is going to give him a little bit more confidence heading forward. And a great all-in here. They're going to close that out. Now, this isn't the end of the SCPL, even though the song is saying that this might be the end. It's not. We'll be back in just five minutes or so with Series 2, which is going to be Psystorm versus BWL. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 